We got the Secret Invasion trailer. We got the Blue Beetle trailer. We got the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer. Now we got the one that we know the citizens of the Reject Nation have really been waiting for. But before that, today's video is sponsored by enthusiasm. <laughs> we got ourselves yes. the Barbie trailer, and it's a teaser trailer numero two. Dose. I can't wait. I am so intrigued. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like, would you? Come on, Johnny. Let's go party. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Barbie land. There it is. Confirmation. <laughs> it's going to uh, remain seats. walking. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. That's how the feet are. Hi, Ken. Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Ugh. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Put the radio blast and go I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? <laughs> I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I don't know. That's so funny. <laughs> it's, it's just so earnest. Okay, ladies, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like this beach is a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. Oh, no. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. Anyone who wants to <laughs> beach him off has to beach me off first. I will beat Sarah. both of you off at the same time. <laughs> beach both of us off? Nobody's going to beach anyone off. <laughs> Oh, uh, my most anticipated movie of the year. That's going to be a treat. <laughs> we got to think about this for just a second, guys. Hmm. We got to think about our journey of how amazing this looks. First, we hear about a Barbie movie, and you're like, I know what this is going to be. <laughs> Warm Brothers, whatever. And then suddenly, you hear about who's directing it, and you go, okay. It's a bit odd. That person brings a lot of nuance and layers to their movies. This person makes cinema. Then you hear about who's... Who's going to be starring it? And Ryan Gosling as Ken. Then you see the trailer, and it's 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> With toys. <laughs> and then you see a second trailer, and it's nothing like the first trailer. Yeah. And they still don't even really tell you what the plot is. Based off of a plot that supposedly was like put out. I don't know if it's a leak. I don't know if it's confirmed. It seems like that's what's present here in the trailer. Barbie is living in Barbie land. Bunch of Barbies. It looks amazing. And she has to venture off to the real world the one rumor is that because she has some imperfections but then she discovers in the real world that i don't know some bullshit about like comes from within a perfection life doesn't is exist about imperfections. you know yeah <laughs> you, know, like you can't that. just be a molded <laughs> you know perfect being all your life and now here we are that trailer was brilliant to me watching what ryan gosling is doing here especially because he's talked about how he's essentially said ken's a loser i don't know if he said those exact <laughs> words but he said that several times and no one wants to play with ken there's sort of this self-deprecating way of how he's talked about the treatment of ken and then this trailer leans into that out of all the kens it seems like he's the one who gets the short end of the stick he's a little bit dumb he's a little bit naive barbie doesn't seem that into him and he he seems a bit like a loser in this trailer yeah, and I, yeah, yeah. I love it well he I seems love like that a, they're leading into that yeah like he's, he's like kind of like a petty jealous guy especially yes. around all the other ken seems like him and simu leo especially are just gonna have like a constant back and forth game of one-upsmanship always going down the, the lego movie has been a touchstone for this in the past but i love the way that they imbue that sort of in a sense of how you would play with the dolls yeah. like barbie and ken come with a domestic sort of suggested lifestyle that also is like completely innocuous in the hands of a child so i love that whole thing about like you want to come over spend the night and do what 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's like it's so innocent, but it's also clearly knowing what we're all thinking in the back of its mind. And so there's this, you know, interesting meta yeah. sheen about it, which I think is very fitting for the here and now and also for again, you know, I think Barbie has to be unless we're talking straight to DVD, a little smarter, you know, than yeah. it appears on the outside. And I think the new log line is something about like you're a perfect being in a perfect world unless you're having an existential crisis or you're a Ken. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Barbie, <laughs> existential crisis, and then Ken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he seems like he's a bit codependent on her. And I think having uh, this an inappropriate, naivety, irreverent sexual humor is really fitting for Barbie, mm -hmm. you know, because of especially the kind of conversations that have circulated around Barbie and a lot of the kind of, well, I mean, hopefully no real little kids are watching this trailer reaction, <laughs> but, but, but you know, like, especially growing up, the little, I remember being kids and you'd hear about like, hey, we're taking apart. Bar Bar Ken doesn't have any body parts. No, yeah, he's all getting it. down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. And then they're making these jokes about, like, beat you off and stuff. Or even yeah. just, like, little things of, like, her feet just staying in that position because yeah. they're always shaped to be in high heels. There's this so many little details. This movie was designed for Tarantino. It was. This oh. is Tarantino's dream come That's to life. That's right. Look out. And speaking of dream, this looks like a dream. I love the production design of this. Oh, sure. These colors pop. It is wonderfully vivid, so imaginative. And oh, I yeah. just noticed the Wizard of Oz imagery at the movie theater in the background, which is perfect for this fantasy wonderland that Clues. we are stepping into right now. This looks so cool. Well, and there's so <laughs> many like cameos as other Barbies and things like that. And even Will Ferrell back as Lord Business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With her having the elf like movie plot. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is fascinating to me, too, because, you know, the time in which Barbie would have been introduced as a toy just in culture in general is also a time where you don't, you know, necessarily acknowledge as many adult things as we do now so i wonder if that's gonna play into this too well you know one thing this sounds a little weird to say ryan gosling you know let's we gotta face facts here i'm in love with ryan gosling oh. every everyone should know this about me i'm okay. absolutely in love with this man mm -hmm. i would leave everyone i'd slaughter a village of children if it meant getting to spend the rest of my life with ryan gosling it's true what does it say about ryan gosling if he's willing to spend the rest of his life with a guy who would slaughter a village of children that means he thinks about his heart first. That's right. He just knows when doesn't, someone's going to cherish him. It doesn't matter him. about his past actions. No. He would care about who I am today. As long as and you I love, love me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are, where you're from, or what you did. <laughs> but he's he's older now. He's a much older person. And everyone else they cast here is uh, looks like aesthetically very, very young. Young and hot. Where Ryan Gosling, you could tell, like he's, he's a much older guy now. And I wonder if they're going to lean into that in some way with Ken. Or are they just going to have him? I don't know if they if they really deal with age in this movie. If anybody needs to be able to accept aging in Hollywood, it's men. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get what but you mean. But you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, Ryan absolutely. Gosling does not look like as young as a lot of the other cast members who are living in Barbie land. He like, does come across like a guy trying to appear younger than he actually <laughs> is. Yeah. yeah, sure. And the way that, like, even though it's, like, it's part of the aesthetic, the very sort of distinct color palette like even his hair just kind of looks like a, an old guy trying to be young he <laughs> looks the sleep like job. He, he he looks like the villain in the first blade runner movie <laughs> yeah yep tears and rain it's all gonna dissolve <laughs> it's all gonna slip away uh but yeah i love i love Barb the costumes runner. i love the sets i love how uh you can tell a lot of like the, the matte painting wallpaper backgrounds for a lot of it and a lot of it looks like real buildings as well uh, i think yeah, they the did fake waves and stuff like yeah the artifice is great they did an exceptional job here sure um i can't wait for that <gasps> yeah this feels like it's going to be a very meta film but also have some type of sociological sociological yeah, sure. Why not? Social commentary. Yeah, sociopolitical allegorical paleontology content. commentary. <laughs> That's right. It's gonna answer some cosmic questions <laughs> for us about the meaning of life. All right, guys. Well, leave your thoughts down below. This movie looks like an absolute blast of a time. What did you think? Subscribe. Hey, let's end this with a. <laughs> Tyler Haig. We could shout out a woman today. But I said, no, who really reminds me 
of a doll I'd want to own and play with. Oh, sure. You. Yeah. I would love to have a doll of you, Tyler, and just stretch you out. Like in the split <laughs> positions. <laughs> chip, boop, you know what I'm talking about? Put you with another doll and be like, Hi, I'm Tyler. And then, Hi, I'm also Tyler. And oh. oh my God, I have a secret case of uh, homosexuality, but only with myself. <laughs> yes. I, o- I would only want to be gay for me. It's and the age old question. Ha- have you, and then, mm, then have you two make out these two Tyler mm-hmm. dolls? But then, oh no, a woman comes into the fray. Uh-uh. And, and uh, no. oh, oh my God, what do I do? Oh no. But am I gayer for myself or do I love this woman? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is real American drama. Well, right here. Sleep, John. It's, it's all good. This is so beautiful. This is the today. best shout out of the year. <laughs> Keep going. I want to see this yeah. movie. <laughs> and that, that, that would be the Tyler Haig story. Yeah, How absolutely. brilliant would that be? That would be the best. I mean, we should mass produce these dolls so that people can know the joys themselves. Would you be too gay for yourself? You should be. You, or you, do you follow true love in the hetero way? <laughs> which, <laughs> which one is it going to be? <laughs> Just be poly for yourself and your your true uh, baby love. That would be so interesting. What a weird, twisted Netflix show that would be about your life. Yeah. Of, of like, what if, what if like they were married? Like he's married, but then he falls in love with a clone of himself, oh. and then it's like. What, why, why is she jealous? Why is the wife jealous? It's just, him. just another it's me. It's just him. <laughs> There's no difference between the two. If the you love me, you should love him. Hank story. This was a test. You failed. I want a divorce. All righty. Well, thank you, guys. Love you, Tyler. Love you, Tyler. Love you, Tyler.